What's up, Internet? Don here from DonDoes30.com, bringing you lesson number two for our Python learning series. We're going to learn today a little bit more about uh, the string literal um, that we learned from the first lesson. We're going to combine the string literal with some variables. We're going to set some variables and do some math. So it's going to be a hell of a time, right? Sounds good. I love math. So uh, get back into your terminal. We're going to set up another Python file. We'll just call this one second.py since our, it's our second lesson. And um, if you're used to other programming languages, you might uh, be familiar with setting the variable type before actually being able to declare the variable. If that means nothing to you, don't worry about it. But if you uh, have any idea what I'm talking about, I'll give you an example. Uh, like int c would send uh, c to be an integer, float. C would set it to be a float, or char C would set it to be a character. Uh, this, of course, is C coding. Um, but with Python, you don't even have to worry about doing that. You just set the variable, A. That's it. So I'm going to set it to 0. So I'm going to say A equals 0. We'll say B equals 1. C equals 2. And uh, that's just me giving examples for you. And we'll print them out to the command line. We'll see what this looks like. Again, uh, control X to exit, Y to save it. Enter when you get the file name. And we're going to Python second. All right. So what it did, there you go. It set the variables to 0, 1, and 2. And it printed them out for us. So not too hard, right? Now, we're going to get into a little bit of math, right? So uh, let's say we want to print a plus c. And for this purpose, uh, actually, let's, uh, you know, I've never done it with the uh, parentheses for, let's see what happens here. And we'll do print uh, b plus a and print c plus b. Now, um, you'll notice I took out the capital because a lowercase c and an uppercase c are technically two different variables. Okay? Just remember that when you're uh, naming variables here. All right. So, we did, let me show you what we did here. We printed out a plus b, all right, so 0 plus 1 or excuse me, 0 plus 2, I'm looking at the wrong line, equals 2. B plus A, 1 plus 0 is 1. And C plus B, 2, nope, 3 plus 1 is, what am I doing here? Oh, nope, I'm looking down here. See, I'm confusing myself, it is 3. All right, so that's addition, all right? Now we have plenty of other different types of um, math that we want to set here, right? So let's see, let's go back. We could do A minus C, B divided by A. Actually, that's probably going to be a bad example. Let's do C divided by B, and we'll do B times A, okay? So that's a minus sign, multiple sign, division sign. Exit out of there. All right, it did the math for us. And a couple of other signs that I want to show you. Um, you have your less than sign, your greater than sign, and uh, one of my favorites, the modulus sign, which is a percentage sign, but it doesn't act like a percentage. Now, uh, before I explain what this uh, sign does, let's see if you could guess what it does. Okay. Now, if you'll notice, when we do true, or excuse me, when we do greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, greater than or less than and equal to, it's gonna return the Boolean true or false, okay? And the modulus returns zero. Now what the modulus does, let me uh, give you another example here. So we're dividing C into B. Let's do, um, let's do, seven, let's do seven divided by three, all right? 
All right, so modulus one, what could that mean? Well, basically what it means is this. This means that it's going to take seven divided by three, but it doesn't output the whole number. It outputs the remainder, so there's one left over. Now this is a pretty cool function that comes into play when you're doing different things um, logically. Uh, we'll get to it a little bit more later, but just know that it exists. And the order in which Python statements are evaluated are, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So if you've never heard of this before, basically that means it goes parentheses first, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So uh, you gotta have a little bit of a math background, or at least a very basic math background to know what I'm talking about. And I promised you before we cut this lesson short, we're gonna go ahead and combine string literals and um, so variables, right? So we're gonna print, and we'll do this is the number zero. Okay, now we could do this two ways. We could print A, and we'll see what comes out. And I'll, we'll do this is the number zero. Now there's two different ways I'm doing this, and I'll, it's gonna print the exact same output, okay? Save it. Python. Well, almost the exact same output. So we're doing, this is the number zero, zero. Actually, nope, that did not work how I wanted to. And this might be just a slight difference between um, Python 2 and 3. So I'm going to take out the parentheses just for this example. Again, you'll probably need them if you're using Python 3. All right, so this is the number 0, 0. This is the number 0, 0. Okay. And uh, let's take a look at that real quick for a second before we uh, cut this video off. Uh, this is the number zero. You could put a comma with a variable type. This is the number zero. And that's a, not a modulus in this case. This is actually a formatter, okay? And what I mean by that is if you want to format the uh, variable itself, you need to use a formatter. So I use the percent sign D. Uh, I guess that stands for data. I don't even know what the D stands for. But if you want to do a float, which a float means it's a decimal number, it actually converts this to a small decimal number. So we'll see that. All right, so 0 versus 0, 0.000. If you want to get even more complicated, you could specify how many decimal places out it goes by putting 0.2 F and this will shorten it to 0, 0.00. So, since I've blown your minds with math and uh, different ways to print out a variable, start practicing. Uh, I don't expect you to learn a heck of a lot just from these kind of short tutorials here, but practice on your own, get familiar, and uh, we'll keep going with more lessons coming.